praise the Lord. Once again, we are back with to you with our book of Psalms. Today it is Psalms 28, a beautiful Psalm of David. It gives you on the heading, David rejoices because of answered prayers. His prayer has been answered, so he's rejoicing and giving thanks to the Lord. That is what we need to do also. When we pray and God answers our prayers, we must go back to him to say thank you, to give praise to him. So that is what David is doing in this psalm. He says, To you I will cry, O Lord, my rock. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry to you, when I lift up my hands towards your holy sanctuary. David is talking about praying. When I pray, when I lift up my hands, don't be silent, he says. If you remain silent, I will die. If you remain silent, my enemy will have power over me. My enemy will triumph over me. But if the Lord starts talking, when the Lord starts speaking, when the Lord comes in our defense, then only we have the victory. And that is what David has said. I cry to you, you are my rock. He takes us from the, from the miry clay and he puts our feet upon the rock. And therefore we are not moved. Even the storms may come. No matter what kind of enemy comes. But because our feet is established among the rock, we are not shaken. That is what David is saying. You are my rock. Our rock today is Jesus. Our rock today is Jesus. He is the rock of ages, which never shakes. And when our feet is established in Jesus, nothing can come against us. Nothing can harm us. He says, if you are silent, I will go down to the, to the pit. That means I will die. If the Lord becomes silent, we will die. Who can protect us from the enemy? The enemy is right around us, always looking how to pull down a child of God, how to destroy the innocent. But it is because of the Lord we have the victory. And because Jesus is on our side, we have the victory. We are able to overcome. He says, I will go down to the pit means I will die. But because the Lord is with me, that is why I have victory. We have triumph over triumph, victory over victory. It says in the third verse, Do not take me away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity. That means don't count me one among the wicked people. Among the people of the world, they have no account of themselves. They freely do what the world does. Freely in everything they take part and they take it very lightly. Wickedness is something that is taken very lightly by a person who does not have Jesus. It is common. Everyone is doing, I am also doing. Everyone lies, I also lie. Everyone makes money, I also make money. Everyone cheats, I also cheat. They cheat in the lakhs, we cheat in the thousand. That is their excuse. But wicked is wicked. If a person steals five lakhs, he is a thief. If he steals five rupees, also he is a thief. So we are counted among the wicked when we identify with the world. So therefore David says, do not account me with the world. Do not put me one among them. They speak peace to their neighbors, but evil is in their heart. Their words are words of peace. They talk sweetly, but there's a dagger in their heart. That is what the people of the world do. They double tongue, double tongue, one outside and one inside. David says, they speak so sweetly to the enemy. But their heart is evil. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their evil do, uh, their endeavors. Whatever they are doing, you give them according to that. You pay them according to that. And the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is the eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. The workers of iniquity. And the book of Galatians says, what a man sows, that he will also reap. And that is what David is saying. Give them according to their deeds. What they have sown, let them reap. According to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give to them according to the work of their hands. Render to them what they deserve. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hand, he shall destroy them and not build them up. That is what David is saying in the, in the psalm. The wicked will be put down in this way. The people that do iniquity, those that are one with the world, 
this is their life god cannot make them to prosper in everything they will go down it seems that they have everything it seems that they are doing well it seems that they are they are they are becoming richer or becoming more prosperous but it is not so in psalm 73 it says that god puts them in slippery places when a righteous person when a person who who follows the lord jesus christ when he falls down the lord jesus lifts him up again it says seven times the righteous fall down and rise up again but the wicked are not so when they fall down there is nobody to lift them up again their place is gone and remembers them no more they are wiped out and that is what happened to the workers of iniquity that is what david is saying then in the from the sixth verse onward it says blessed be the lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication here way he is giving thanks all this that he prayed do not count me one among them you are my rock if you keep silent i will die that is his prayer then he says do not identify me with them with workers of iniquity don't count me one of them because david did not keep company with evil doers he always was godly people he had a righteous rule a righteous rule we see the life of david always he put the lord first in everything his mind was how i will build a house of god for for, for our jehovah god how i will build a temple how i will how will make our people to prosper how they will follow the lord how they will walk in the covenant of the lord therefore the bible says david was number one king he was the best king so therefore it says about david when he heard his prayer he says blessed be the lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication the lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusted in him and i am helped i trusted him i am not ashamed the bible says they that put their trust in the lord shall not be put to shame it is true and that is what david is proving in this psalm he says i cried i prayed to you i said you are my rock you are my defense and you have helped me i told you don't count me among the wicked i am not among them i don't belong to them i am a different group i belong to you my desire is always to please you and then he says the lord has heard my prayer he has heard my supplication the lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusted in him and i am helped because i put my trust in the lord therefore he helped me and he delivered me out of all my enemies david had a lot of enemies a lot of enemies and god delivered him from every enemy i have just a little time left it's only a 10 minutes message in verse 8 and 9 it says the lord is their strength and he is the saving refuge of his anointed save your people and bless your inheritance here david is also praying for other believers which we need to do the bible says pray one for another and this is what we need to pray those that have put their trust in you lord bless them also make them to prosper make their tribe increase those type of people let them increase let them do well let them be blessed so that the heathen around will see that those that are following the lord they are blessed people david's intention is also for others he says you are their strength you are their saving refuge save your anointed because they put their trust in you i put my trust you help me help them also let them be blessed he was not selfish he wanted others also to prosper he says save your people and bless your inheritance the lord has a kingdom he has an in- inheritance here on this earth the people of god are his inheritance that is why when we pray the lord's prayer thy kingdom come thy will be done as it is in heaven so let it be on earth also let your kingdom be here on earth the lord has a kingdom here the lord jesus christ is the king of kings and his kingdom and his people are we those that believe on his name so the lord has a kingdom he has a people that is separated for him and david is praying for those people save your people and bless your inheritance the inheritance of the lord jesus christ are those that put their trust in him that believe on him then it says here shepherd them also and bear them 
up forever. Hold them up forever. Be a shepherd unto them. A shepherd protects his sheep. And that is the prayer of David. Protect your people. Today the people of God can put their trust in the Lord. Whatever is going on on this earth, whatever pandemic is there, whatever sickness is there, whatever economic situation is there, when we have Jesus as our shepherd, he will take care of us. Nothing shall I be want. There will be nothing lack to those that put their trust in him. And therefore, he will be a shepherd to us and he will bear us up forever. May the Lord bless us through this wonderful psalm that we have just heard. God bless you.